What's good, YouTube? It's your boy R, and welcome back to AM Live Advice. Hope you guys are doing awesome. My, I just say my name is R. I don't know why I said it yet. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Really do hope you guys are doing great. Today we're gonna be reacting to the punch that everybody is terrified. You guys know who that is, right? Mike Tyson. Iron Fist. Mike Tyson. Knockout specialist. Nike knockout. Okay, Mike Tyson. Nevertheless, hope you guys are doing awesome. All that good stuff. Smash the like button, subscribe, comment down below what video you want to see me react to. Yeah, enough talking. Let's just get into the video. Oh, wait. I press the wrong button. Welcome back to Quick Hits here on BLTV Extra. On this series, we take a break from our longer documentary style videos to briefly recap a fighter's career note. Oh. Video, we turn the clock back to 1986 and scrutinize one of the hardest punching heavyweights of recent decades with a primary focus on the infamous Smash Punch that was unique to his own repertoire. Oh. Dropping a like on the video would help us out a bunch, so please consider it if you enjoy our content. Oh. Here now, the frightful power of Donovan Razor Ruddick. I don't like Michael. My Tyson. My Tyson. Is he Jamaican? Oh, he's Jamaican. Ruddick was born in St. Catherine, Jamaica during the early 1960s. Oh. Jamaica was a tough country to grow up in in this era, with the gangs and drug dealers more or less running the country. They then smuggle the guns to Jamaica, where they are used to control the neighborhoods through violence, intimidation, and murder. In 1974, his parents made the conscious decision to move to Toronto, Canada, where Ruddick, a now overgrown teenager, joined a local boxing gym and took to the ring like a duck to water. As I'm sure many of you are aware, Ruddick wasn't the only young man learning his trade in Canada during this period. Britain's own Lennox Lewis was also making waves as an amateur in the Great White North, and the two Jamaican descendants would go on to face each other in 1980, where Ruddick gained a decision over the future Hall of Fame legend. Most fighters could only dream of scoring such a brutal knockout, yet from 1986 to 1991, this was just another day in the office for Razor Ruddick. During a five-year period, Donovan scored 16 consecutive knockouts, each and every one being set up by the snatch. The punch today is closely resembled a shovel hook, a sort of uppercut slash hook that is usually thrown in the body from a 45-degree angle while keeping your elbows nice and tight to your head. Donovan was different, different for the fact that he could throw the shot from, from any angle, angle with his elbows at any distance, and, and to top it off, he was predominantly a head hunter. It was, it was entirely, entirely against the grain, grain but, but that's, that's what made it so successful. Most of the impressive string of knockouts have put Razor Ruddick on the cutting edge of the score. Despite beating three former world, world champions, Ruddick was struggling to get a title shot. Evander Holyfield looked most likely, likely to entertain the idea, but changed his mind at the last minute and elected, elected the more, more lucrative option to George Foreman. Foreman. Yet, yeah, there, there was another man lingering, lingering around the division. He wasn't, he wasn't a world champion anymore, but still, still considered the very best, best in his category. category. Perhaps, Perhaps he found pound. Fight, 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 fight. Just cut the world. Cut the best fight in the world. Tyson needed a mark win himself after suffering his first career loss to those Ducks. Ruddick was in the right place at the wrong time. Or was he? On January 18, 1991, it was announced, announced to the world that Mike Tyson, Tyson would take on Donovan, Donovan Razor Ruddick on Showtime Championship Boxing. That's the guy we don't know how good he is, okay, right? That's something we can't get rid of. And he 
Ruddick was, was a respected contender at this time, but Mike didn't seem to worry about Ruddick's new reputation. Harsh, Harsh work, work, but a true, but a true reflection of Tyson's, Tyson's mindset at the time. time. Being, Being a student in sport, sport, Tyson was precisely the danger to make, make a pose. pose. Yet nothing, yet nothing but a vicious knockout would add to his already illustrious profile. He's mad, he is really got a head of steam. I think he wants to get this guy out of here as fast as he can. Both, Both men weighed in to a perfect shape. The world was ready for a toe-to-toe battle.
Tyson started strong towards the beginning, and brought it both the second and third round. Identical to the first fight. As Donovan laid on the camera, smiled, which he seemed too often. He kept the fact that his jaw was broken for himself. Oh, damn. Tyson landed heavy shots at every moment, but his smash was smashed before he could deliver it. Ruddick had his most, but, but Tyson is the ETG for a reason. The Brooklyn board, the Brooklyn board slugger proved, proved his doubters wrong, wrong. and earned the hardest point, point to decision. Come back to some of those shots, this guy had to do some major shots. Hey, man, that's what he's going to do with the And you got to have some kind of reward from getting up from knockdown smiling. You must have the record of getting up smiling from knockdown. Tyson ended his post-fight post interview post saying Ruddick was a tough guy, guy in the future, which was sadly which wrong, but the fact that Ruddick's resilience would never be the same. After the Tyson, Tyson Ruddick bounced back, Ruddick bounced back, back, back to back to back victory over Greg Page, Page and Phil Jackson. Lennox Lewis, Lennox was, the Lewis was the next man to offer Ruddick a title shot, but completely wiped the floor with him, ending any future high-profile bounce in the second round. Oh, he's here. For the remainder of his career, of his career there were few chunks, chunks, chunks of the inactive well, Tom Morris. Tommy Morris, Tommy Morris sent, him sent him to another dimension in 1995, which put the final put nail in the coffin. He did fight he on, did fight much, on. Longer than much longer than expected, only hanging up only the gloves was recent to 2015. 2015. That isn't how that he should, isn't be, how remembered, should be remembered, though. Ruddick was a freak, Ruddick was a freak out. out. The first generation the first of modern-day modern big men. His punching power, His punching was, on power was on the elite spectrum. spectrum. If he had faced, if he had any, faced other any other champion, 86 to 92, he would, he would have held the championship belt, I have no doubt. Aw, man, would he slip, though? Oh, maybe they don't see this lad. How do you how do you get knocked off? Anyway, <laughs> I try to figure how do you get knocked out with your legs being back and your body this way? I don't know, but man, he slipped, man. You did my boy bad. But hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. You know, smash the like button if you're new to the channel, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want to, that is. Yeah, and just comment down below what reaction videos you want to see me react to. I'm the kid that does all the reaction. Doesn't matter, but. While you guys still remember the world is yours and I'm out. Peace.